Hi Tim, it's Mary. I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and we can remove your IV today and hopefully you're happy about that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and we're just going to go ahead and make sure I have the right Tim here. Can you please state your full name and date of birth? Tim Palmento, 71064. Wonderful. And that matches my chart here and you don't have any allergies, correct? No. Okay, great. All right. So we get to go ahead and take this out. So you're doing better. So I'm glad we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and just put your um, side rail down here so I can access your IV here a little better. Okay, great. And I'm going to shut this off. All right. Okay, good. So again, I'm just making sure I check the site before I pull it out and everything is looking good. It's intact, it stayed in, there's no problems with the site. Wash my hands before I put my gloves on. All right, so Tim, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna remove that um, IV that's in your arm, and you might feel a little bit of pulling of the tape, um, but otherwise it should be a fairly painless procedure. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this tubing first. And I'm just gonna start to begin to remove the tape or whatever you have for a secure dressing. Some IV sites do have um, stat locks. So you would wanna remove that first before you pull out your IV. When you are pulling off the IV um, dressing, you wanna make sure that you're pulling it towards the IV and not away from the IV because it might pull out prematurely and you just wanna go up against the grain while you're removing it. I'm gonna have a gauze pad ready because once I remove it, I'm gonna put this right over the site. Okay, I'm just gonna fold that up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the transparent dressing as I pull upward against the grain of the IV. And then when I'm ready to pull it out, I'm gonna tell the patient, okay, I'm just gonna remove this. It's gonna just I'm gonna inspect the IV catheter, make sure that it is intact. And if it does look um, like perhaps there might be some drainage on it or pus or something that looks unusual, um, we'd wanna notify the provider and possibly unculture that. All right, so I'm just gonna hold pressure here for a couple of minutes. And at the same time, I'm gonna get my tape ready. All right, Tim, I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape on here. All right, so that's all out. And um, I've already held pressure on there, so we'll just keep the, the dressing on it for a couple hours and then we'll remove that, okay? So now you can move freely with that arm. How does that feel? Great. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put your side rail up here again. Make sure your bed is lowered and locked. Is your head in a comfortable position? Yes. All right, good, all right. So here's your call light. So I'll give that to you here and just let me know if you need anything. And I'll be back to check on you in about an hour, okay? All right, and here's your tray table. All right, thank you.